All right, so this is for Radimir Fifik. Um, and he's looking to looking to kind of get better, create better things for his portfolio. Um, so there's uh, there's a couple of issues that I see right off the bat. Um, let me just kind of get this all lined up. Okay, so I'll just use a blue. Okay, so the first things that I see right off the bat are the 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 perspective of the character. Um, it feels very off. Um, if this is kind of this center line here, um, this is this is kind of the center line here. Uh, what what I see really quick, kind of looking at this, um, is the way that the character is posed. Uh, you know, you've got a straight straight vertical composition, which is okay. Um, but if you're you're putting kind of this this horizon line here, um, you need to adjust other things too. So I'm going to just show you what I'm seeing wrong right off the bat. Okay, so first of all, if you're putting you're putting your body in here, like so, and I'm just gonna put the torso here. And then the neck comes further down, and like so. So the torso is here. So the problem is that this would come forward more, and then you would see kind of the upper torso. So it's more of the form of the way this is going. And then if you're if you're getting this aspect here, you're kind of getting a more of a straight pose here like this so the head turns into a straighter straighter feature and the eyes would curve around more and same thing with the nose and I would see more of it and I would see more of the lips like that um, and so you're getting a little bit more of that that upper body feel and then that becomes this turns this into more of a, an ex exaggerated feature here like so all right and that, that pushes out and then with this you're you're really pushing you're, you're not pushing the foreshortening enough because right now it, as the way it is this is this is my arm here or my hand and like so and that's my wrist and so looking at this like so, this basically thickens my my forearm a little bit more, and then you want to build in the hips more. Um, the hips are going to kind of round out a little bit more and come down and then build out like so. And you're not really showing me that. You're you're not really showing me that she's a female body. Um, and then the breasts are going to wrap around like so too. Um, which are are going to be much more um, something like this and then the shoulders are gonna you're gonna see collarbone and stuff like that so you know by doing this by by actually blocking out the figure you can tell what's raised and what's not um, and then this would be kind of the pubis like so and then the rest of that so that's that's going to change some of the the perspectives of things um, which is what's going to happen is the head is going to get more um, drastically more uh, angled upward and um, I think the sword is going to angle backwards so if I were to fix this um, the first thing that I would do is grab this sword is and just start 
pushing that in like so. And then with this, by ex expanding that out, gives me that, that per depth that you're looking for. Um, you want to grab, you want to have, if you're going to have this kind of light on here too, your, your whole body feature changes um, significantly more. And so what that means is your highlights now become in different areas. So this is strong light here. This is strong light here. And then strong light there. Um, your darks then creep up a lot more like so and they'd be a lot darker under the undersides so you want to pay more attention to where your light source is coming from and that's really going to push um, kind of the where your values are going um, under here it'd be completely um, darker like so and then depending on how big her breasts are you're gonna get the pop up here and over here as well and there's gonna be a lot of light here there's gonna be a lot of light so you, you need to get the highlights in the right right areas because right now the light is too unified you've got some of the shadows in the right spots but it's the highlights aren't showing anything so you know if you put your frame in on it here like so you know these breasts would tip up a lot more and I would get a lot more shadow underneath um, you know so it's it's looking at your light and your perspective um, what I would do is I would get a photo uh, photo reference of, of somebody you know in that pose and then build on top of it because right now there's there's so much that's just out of perspective and that the lights aren't showing you what you want to what you you should see so I mean with such a strong light you're gonna get harsh shadows so you're gonna get really really sharp shadows like that and that's what's gonna really push um, that aspect and you know something like that you know underneath you're gonna get real dark shadows too um, you know so it's those types of things that are really going to push it um, get that perspective in there and and stick with it and then get the the highlights in there um, and and point it to the right area because right now it's it's very um, you know this would be almost dark black and then if you're gonna have a rim light keep the rim light consistent because here you've got rim light but then you don't have it here you know so you need to figure out and then you don't have any existing rim light here um, you know you would have rim light here here I mean there's there's all rim lights all over the place that would you know you would you would use to push the silhouette out um, and then with your dress, I would uh, definitely grab more reference because it just looks like two big folds, three big folds right now. Um, you know, it just feels like this is a fold, this is a fold, and it kind of goes into that. Um, and, and look at how dresses are. Um, so you want to really build that up and kind of push more. Uh, push more detail in there. The other thing I, uh, I would mention too is you want to get depth perception. Um, so, you know, if this is the strongest light is coming from the back, then what I would do is I would definitely push the sword backward a little bit more. Like so. Um, you know, pushing that down
you know, pushing that down and, and darker. And then, you know, this would also be darker as well. And I just, uh, let me just erase this line here. And then watch the detail too, because the detail is all in the sword and it, and it consistently draws the eye. Put more detail up here into the face, into, you know, I would even put something, something up here in her hair, maybe. Um, I don't know, let's just, you know, let's draw something like this, like a rose or something like that. And you, you put that in up here and it, the bright will draw the eye and the more complex um, will draw the eye up there. Um, and on that's, that's the issue right now is everything's drawing my eye to the detail of the sword down here. Plus with the sword pointing down and getting cut off, you know, I, I'm constantly looking down there. Um, and then if you're going to detail the sword, look at how swords are constructed. Um, it just, it looks off because of the way you've got the hilt and pommel put together. Um, simple, simple adjustments there. And then maybe even put, you know, if you've got a gem here, you know, maybe we'll grab a real strong red here and put, and put the red up here with the white and then the darks. And that's going to unify, you know, things together a little bit more. Um, and then that'll give her a little bit of a red glow too. You know, maybe it's bouncing reflected light off. So that's something that you want to think about too. Um, and then, you know, looking at this here, these gauntlets, um, this is the wrist, but if the gauntlet were to slide on, you know, you basically got big loops here. This would actually come over like so and it would be more back towards the back of the, you know, in layers like this. So you want to really, really look at that, that idea of that aspect and get a model going and, and kind of push that aspect of perspective and better lighting. All right.